SJ Poor Challenge 2014 Final Beers. Happy travels. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Grab me a beer. I will try to do that. Homebrew. Party gal. Party gal. Mild. Happy homebrew Wednesday, everybody. Happy birthday, Larry. Mmm. And everybody else who has a birthday. My Janet. Janet. Happy birthday to Janet. Happy birthday, <laughs> Janet. <laughs> <laughs> Janet doesn't watch our channel. No, she doesn't. Uh, she should. Well, cheers. Uh, yeah, to Janet. There we go. To Janet. Yeah. Tune in. Sub up. Mmm. Pretty good. Man, the malt blast on that. It's really, really tasty. And those nugget hops. Yeah. Too bad there's no kick to it. 3.5%. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really, you can drive the lawnmower for days. God. Yeah. You don't even have to worry yeah. about it. This is, no, this this is, is really fantastic. nice, though. It's very, very refreshing. Mm. I was trying to think of something witty to come back with after the lawnmower comment. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I don't know. Oh, you're right. <laughs> mm. So, uh, still getting the GABF videos together. Holy cow, I watched three or four different watched, videos yeah. tonight. It was a lot of fun. Spectacular. I mean, Larry's and uh, Paul's. Yeah. And yours. Cool. It, it's just been really nice. It's, There's more to come. A lot of fun was missed. A lot of fun was missed. <laughs> There's next year. There's next year. Yeah. So, but there was a lot of fun had by a lot of guys. A lot of beers were missed. Gosh. It was impossible to get to all the different beers. It was, it, you know, did my best to come up with a, a map and plot everything out to where we needed to go. And yeah. Then it's just chaos. There's people in the places you want to go. Or there's lines for miles. And it's it was, But it was well worth it. There was always an, an alternative to the one with the line. So, And some funny stories. God, some stories. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's so. good times. But uh, what do we have going on homebrew-wise? Not a whole lot. Haven't brewed in a couple weeks since I did the challenge. Um, I think the challenge beer, uh, the second round, that was the last time. You weren't even there, mm. really. No, I wasn't. Um, but what we've got in fermenters, um, we've got a mystery ale. Uh, it's basically a blend of a lot of different leftovers from transfers mm. and things. It's interesting. Maybe, yeah. I'll, maybe I'll show you a clip of that. Right here, but it is going to be. Uh, I, I think it's going to be a tasty. We'll see. Mix. We'll see. I'm going to put. I'm going to put a little clip of it, and, and you guys tell us what you think. It doesn't smell bad. I think it'll be fine. But I want just take a look. What do you think of that? It's pretty wild. But down there, the beer's pretty clear. Like I said, there's no, no off smells on that. I think it's just an oxidation layer. It's probably protecting the beer. <laughs> and in addition to that, we've got five gallons of the Nanu Nanu Castle Brown Ale, which is going to be treated uh, to a little bit of flavoring. Um, and we're going to do, my wife suggested a caramel coffee. So I've got some extract here and some coffee. I'm not even going to bother with doing a cold press or anything it's just a simple four percent beer and just gonna see what we can do um, I'm gonna keg it and then add a little bit at a time get it kind of mixed in best we can under co2 and then take a few tastings and then see what we need to add keep going from there yeah in addition we're uh, we've got beer on keg um, version three and four of my challenge beer and this beer this is the three and a half percent party go so it's awesome it's tasty. And this weekend, we're talking about brewing a ten-gallon batch of uh, the hop kick drop knock <laughs> the down hop, the hop knock night. down drag out. <laughs> Hold on, what are we gonna do in three days? <laughs> this Saturday, we're talking about brewing yes. ten gallons. A hop kick mate. <laughs> So, this weekend we're talking about brewing. Uh, Going to be doing Dropkick Nate, 
hopefully. Uh, I'm not, I've got to count some hops to make sure I've got enough, but drop kick Nate, maybe a 10 gallon batch. Putting a keg over here and a keg over at our house. So, yeah. hope to. We'll see how it goes. You gotta if we scratch do, some scratch together to get some scratch. So <laughs> chicken scratch. So we can get them chickens to screw the. We gotta get some grains. Yeah. So we got pretty much everything else. I got maybe need a couple ounces of hops, but this guy found a real cool little thing down along the street, driving home. Yeah. And it's brew related. It is. I mean. Yeah. You brew here, right? I yeah. Mean, so let's see if I can if I can work this camera. Hold on. He found a little stand here, a Lipton. Little four shelf. Little four shelf four, yeah. Lipton stand. It's all wood. Lipton it's little, brewing. It's got a little wobble, but you know what? We're gonna stiffen it up, and it's gonna be a nice little uh, shelf for our brewery for putting uh, whatever. Yeah. See, we gotta do that. Growlers. The growlers our, will fit on it. Our, our our flask will fit on there. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna find a good spot for that. We're getting slowly getting things together. It will be a uh, nice addition. One of the other things we're working on is over there. Oh and yeah. You can see here. there's like no cover right if there. You'll take note. We but we'll, have electronics. Yeah. I don't know if you can see. Maybe I'll zoom in there. Huh? Do do. It's do -do. a plethora of wiring. Yeah. All kinds of stuff back there. PLC. Power supplies, relays. Got the mini wire. fridge here. <laughs> this will. Maybe I'll pop one of these doors. But I am going to do a video, kind of over overview of the whole thing once it's up, running, and tested, and show you what we got going on. I'm going to cut to a, a clip here. So over here inside the chamber, inside the uh, firm chamber, we've got. We've already added some. These are PT100s. And these are old, basically computer fans. I'm gonna tidy up some wiring there, but I uh, got some some bulk wire there to go be landed. But down here, we've got both chambers wired up, and more fans for air circulation. One over here, so that'll be uh, all controlled by that mess. So we got one more thing. Well, we got a lot of things. We got new stickers. We got a lot of things. Oh We've yes. We got this thing. By the way. And this will be focus right there. Mm. Happy birthday, birthday to you. All right. Yeah, yeah. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Here. What do you got? Here you go. Right you here. A... My credit card. Oh, your credit card me. is accepted here, sir. This is Larry's. Lermo 22's pumpkin mead. Hey, this is October. And I think it's it's old. I think it's like a year old, or I'm sure it's more than a year old. I'm, I don't know. I can't remember what he said. Yeah, we'll have to ask him. We'll have him. to ask him. I did send him a message, but he didn't get back to me before the filming. So let's have a smell and a taste, shall we? Hey, we're off camera. It's all right. I'll pour mine up there. We're supposed to take it up there. Oh, that's pretty. There you go. Yeah, I didn't pour that one on camera, but here we go. Oh, my, my, my. I smell the pumpkin spice. Yeah. That's lovely. It's lovely color. Really Very yellow. Wow. This is really. This smells amazing, and I'll put this up really, against a pumpkin beer. Yeah, <laughs> this is awesome. Wow, the fragrance is just amazing. The sweetness. Cheers to you, man. Cheers to you, and happy birthday. Cheers to you, Larry. Mm. Oh, that pumpkin's right there. The pumpkin's a big. That's good. The cinnamon's not over. No. Bearing, but it's it's prevalent. Mm-hmm. Um, the honey characters, nice, strong. Yeah. This is really. It's dry, but it's not over dry. No. But it it does it's dry enough to where you want to go back and drink more. Mm-hmm. 
It's almost like a Riesling. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know? It does have a wine character. Character a little bit, but it wow. Is, that pretty, is really good. Pretty dry. Yeah. Probably would consider this a dry mead. If I was yes, a, for sure. Mead connoisseur. But this is excellent stuff. Mm -mm. Nice glass to drink it from, too. That fits. Yeah. Mm. Well, that'll be a wrap, I think. Yeah, we can wrap. <laughs> Catch you guys next time before or later. And oh, <laughs> oh, by the way, by the way, he's got another GABF segment coming up. Right? I do. You do. I have two more. Okay. <laughs> Watch for that. Cheers, gang. Cheers. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Great to talk to you. Hope you enjoyed listening. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up with your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Happy uh. Homebrew Wednesday. <laughs>